What's up, Rockstars and Lambs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Studio J, right? I'm sitting in my office on a Sunday morning. It is about 11 o'clock, and my little allergies are killing me these days, and uh, I don't know what's going on. Southern Colorado is very dusty these days. I'm like, no thank you. I don't love it. But, um, you know, it's a Sunday. I just got back from breakfast. I am sitting here balancing some books and looking at the budget for the salon and looking at other things, you know. I wanted to say thank you all so much um, for coming in last week and making last week um, my top retailed week of all time. Um, it was also our one year anniversary. So, you know, it's so funny because the year anniversary came and I had no idea how to feel. Like, it was a very numb feeling for me. I didn't um, all I can see as a business owner is things to improve on and things to add and things not to do again and things that I don't know I call them big boy issues you know what I mean being a grown up is not always fun and so those are that's what I've been focusing on so a lot of people have noticed that I get asked all the time like we haven't seen you on Facebook or Twitter as much I've just been very exhausted trying to tend to my business. You know, when you own a business, and I heard this all the time, and I, you know, I've always taken care of myself, I've been an independent contractor, I've always been contracted to do things. But when you have a space with your name on it, there's so much more investment that goes into that that I never knew about. Um, and that, you know, you learn. You have to learn the hard way sometimes. And me, I've always been somebody who learns the hard way. So, whatever. Um, Professionally, I'm doing really, really great. I'm really happy with my clientele. I always have been. You guys are absolutely amazing. I've always been supportive of me and everything that I do and all my projects, which is awesome because I've had some quiet time to sit down and put my book in order. And I've been working on my book and I've been, I've had a skeleton for where I want it to go and how many chapters I want there to be. And I finally gave it a voice. And it's so awesome because. I don't know what we're going to call it. I keep It's a, under a rough draft as the hot mess book. Um, I don't know if it's going to be called that. There's so many times when I see <clears throat> the voice of the book and it talks about different things like stuff I learned growing up, things I learned in the salon industry, things I learned when I worked with kids, things um, I learned through um, getting a DUI and being more professional and learning the hard way and then sometimes understanding that you aren't good at everything and you do have those revelations. So it's, who would read this book is the first thing I always think about. Would you read this book? I would read my own book, but me reading my own book doesn't sell copies. Do you know what I mean? The other thing, too, is that we're living in an age of digital stuff that is so different because for me to release a book digitally is um, still very expensive to do, but I can independently do it. But it depends on how many downloads you're going to get and what venue you're going to go. So I am really looking into that. The other thing that we're working on is a photo shoot. Finally, I have a photo shoot book for the salon so I can start working on a press packet um, and showing people and telling them about the salon and letting them know that sometimes it's really nice to go to a session stylist and get your hair done. That's the best thing that I can give somebody is my time and my expertise. So we have that going and I'm starting work on a top secret project that I, I don't even know where to start with it. You know, I am so happy tax season is done. I can breathe a tiny bit. We'll see, but I think I can breathe a little bit, and that should be a good thing. But, um, you know, I tell people all the time, if I could write a book for the salon industry, I would write a book called 13 Things Not to Do Before You Open a Salon, and doing my taxes really put that in perspective for the first year of my salon. Any of you first-time business owners out there and first-year business owners out there, email me at joshcooley.com. Let me know what you learned in your first year because I tell you, I think everybody has something that they learned about. You know, me being a contracted worker for the last seven years has been a whole different deal than having um, a space with my name on it. And the space with my name on it has been exhausting and beneficial and amazing because I get to control everything. But sometimes having all the control is not always fun, you know? So... There's a lot to learn, friends. That's all I can tell you. If I had to leave you with an affirmation, all I could tell you is the following. I would let you know that you are in the place you are in your life at the right time, always. You're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be watching this video. After you get done with this, you might have to eat a sandwich. That might be that's the sandwich that the universe um, wants you to eat right now. Um, some people go on and they go do things, or they create their own blogs, or they say, "Hey, um, I don't want to talk to Josh anymore." Maybe this is the way of those things ending and progressing. You know, you are where you need to be at every given moment, and I see it every day. And I've had a lot of moments of just silence these last few months. Um, not even being on Twitter or Facebook and people say like I didn't even see you 
do anything the other day, and you know, it's really okay with me not to be connected all the time, um, or updating the blogs used to be my priority. My priority right now is just really rocking out my business and getting my guests in and trying to let them understand that I am there, I'm just doing 18 things at one time, and understanding from a personal level that I can't be 18 places at one time and I need the help. So that's where I'm at in my brain right now. And so sometimes when I go home, I just like to shut off everything that has to have to do with technology and um, breathe, cook, watch TV. Sometimes watching the Golden Girls is kind of nice, you know what I mean? You don't have to do everything all the time. But as it's always been, I'm Josh Cooley. Thank you for checking out josh-cooley.com. The website is going to be updated shortly. And um, there's a lot going. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.